Hey game developers, Bilal from Zenfinity.net and welcome back to the C-Sharp Fundamentals for Unity course. And in this one we're going to be talking about access modifiers. Now before we begin, make sure to check out the previous one in the top right here by clicking that card, uh, or just go ahead and follow along with me here. And so what we see in front of us is obviously not Visual Studio, it's uh, just the Microsoft.net documentation. And uh, we have a little list here of all the access modifiers and uh, what it is they do. So to begin, our public access modifier is typically the most common one. And it means basically that it can be used anywhere. Right? So if we have a public attribute inside of a class, uh, any other class can reference it from outside. OK, pretty simple. So with a private one, which is our next most used one, uh, access is limited to only the class or struct that we're in, or uh, whatever else is private. So for example, if we have a private attribute, then uh, a class, any other class, really cannot access that private attribute. So it can only be accessed internally from that class. And then finally, we have protected here, uh, which is basically the same thing as um, private, but the difference is that in a derived class, so if we use inheritance, um, then a derived class or subclass is able to access that um, attribute. So uh, those are the three main ones. And with internal, I'll go ahead and talk about it briefly. Um, internal is, well, you can see it here. It says access is limited to the current assembly. Um, and what that means is that in C Sharp, what an assembly is, is basically a compiled piece of code, right? So you'll sometimes in your Unity project, you might use a DLL um, or you know some other library. Uh, and sometimes it can also be included in EXEs. So an assembly is basically compiled C-sharp code. And what that means is that if something is internal, it can only be used from within that same group of compiled code or that same assembly. So this is one that's not really used all that commonly in comparison to public and private. It is used often in libraries, but you won't probably be worrying about it in you know most of your Unity games. OK, so those are all the uh, really important ones here. So why don't we go ahead and actually look at some examples on how to do this inside of C Sharp, right? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just remove this code, and I'll, I'll make up new classes here. All right, so I'll delete all this code here as well. OK, uh, and then over here, I'm going to go ahead and make a new class um, called Spaceship, right? So public class Spaceship. Oops. Uh, OK, and so our Spaceship has a public, um, I don't know, let's say integer durability like we did before. Um, equals, I don't know, let's say 10. Um, and then we'll have, yeah, actually, that's, that's what we'll do for now, right? So why don't we go ahead and just make a new spaceship here? So there, spaceship equals new spaceship. OK. Um, so now we have a spaceship. And let's just go ahead and print, oops, uh, actually, console.write line spaceship space ship dot durability. OK, so I'll go ahead and run this, and we'll obviously see 10, uh, nothing special. So right? OK, so we see 10. I'll hit a key because of that read key function here to end the program. And uh, let's just go ahead and see, because most of this is just going to be in compiler errors. Um, so let's see what happens if I change it to private. I mean, you can obviously guess. It'll throw a compiler error. Um, and now it says spaceship.durability is inaccessible due to its protection level because a private thing can only be accessed within the same class, right? So if I have a uh, function here, for example, um, this same exact code, obviously, uh, will not give us a compiler error or a squiggly, but I do need to <laughs> delete the spaceship there. So obviously, it can work here, but it can't work out there, right? So if I change it to protected, like we said before, protected would need a derived class, right? So we still can't do this here. So why don't I go ahead and delete this, and then instead say spaceship dot print durability, right? So of course, with a private, this also would work. Um, but that's not exactly what we're going to be testing here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and create a derived class here. So public class interceptor, which um, inherits from spaceship. So this is going to actually have um, 
let's say our, our regular print durability will just do nothing because I don't know why. And then we'll say public, uh, actually we'll make this virtual, right? So virtual uh, void print durability. Okay, so now why don't we do uh, public override void print durability. And then this one will actually print our durability here. And we can see, um, actually, why don't we go ahead and instead of doing that, we say uh, console.writeLine uh, durability here. Right, so what's going on here is we're accessing durability attribute. Uh, and notice how we're not getting compiler error. So if I change this back to private, we see compiler error, right? Because this can only be accessed inside of the same class. And if I was obviously to change it to public, that would also work. The reason you might not want to do that is because we have this print durability function, and right now the only use of our durability is to print it into the console. So why would you have, uh, why would you leave the ability to print durability uh, or to access durability from outside when you have no reason to do so, right? And so that that's the purpose of using these access modifiers is that we don't want to let programmers do something that might, you know, uh, have a negative effect and no positive effect. So why don't we go ahead and change this to protected? And we see obviously we can do this, and then we can call print durability here. So if we do this like this, we should see nothing in print durability, right? So I'll hit start, and we'll just see nothing. I'll hit a key, close it, and then we'll change this to a new interceptor, right? And I'll change this to spaceship so we have some polymorphism going on like in the previous two episodes. So we'll go ahead and do spaceship.printDurability, and this will call this interceptor function, and we'll see it use this protected attribute here um, to print 10 just fine. No compiler errors, no runtime errors. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much uh, all that really is to be said about access modifiers. Fairly short episode, um, so just remember the purpose of access modifiers is that if something does not need to be used outside of a certain scope, um, we do not let it be used outside of that certain scope because that makes it so fewer things will go wrong when somebody or even ourselves are going to use uh, our previous code or maybe library or even engine um, to do this kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind and with all that said I will see you in the next episode and have a good day.